Hey everybody, welcome to the Tulsa Opera Warehouse. Land of the free, home of the brave, and a big old mess of stuff. We're gonna be walking through the set of little prints. So all these, all these blue frame pieces are part of a portal. Now a portal is a piece of, a, uh, of scenery that's gonna, that's gonna delineate what the front, of, the front of the set. So what happens is it weighs about 6,000, 7,000 pounds. So it hangs on this I-beam that you see down below and then that goes up on some big winches and then we bolt it together and it makes a, it makes a, a like a picture frame let's think of it that way with a circle in it and we start off with the circle closed and then during the show the circle will open so you can see more more of the set and then people get inside of the portal there's a, a bunch of characters, that, like the businessman and the water and the lamplighter, but they get in the set and they come out of these windows. So they stick their head out of the window. So to get into the window, they have to climb up quietly through the portal while the rest of the show's going on. Sometimes that's the hardest part of the whole deal. <laughs> so when we put it together, this is gonna be Oh, probably 60 feet wide, and it'll be 25 feet tall. The hole will probably be about a 24-foot circle. This is the, this is a piece that goes in and out, and the lamp the lamp lighter's light mounts on the end of this, and it comes down, and then he folds out of the out of the portal and lights the lamp. It's one of the prettiest songs in the, in the entire opera, and the music is extra special. We love this opera. There's a sunset scene that. 13 light cues, it goes from blaring daylight to ultramarine blue dark and uh, over a period of time. And it's got the most haunting music that goes with it. It's just one of the, one of the reasons I do opera is scenes like that. It's just one of those things that just kind of jumps out and just grabs you, so. And this is the sand dune. Now what this is, shag carpet, this is the, this is the foxhole. <laughs> Fox goes through this. Anyway, so this, this is in the back of the set, but this is old, old harvest, uh, harvest gold shag carpeting. You older folks will remember that from the Holiday Inn back in the 70s. This is origami folded aluminum cranes. You know, the little prince flies from planet to planet on a flock of cranes. Well, this is the flock of cranes. In a little bit, I'll show you how we, the machine that we use to, to fly the cranes up and down with the little kid on them with uh, the little prince. So what happens is, this stands up, because it won't stand up in here because we don't have enough, uh, quite enough height. So this stands up, and then the little prince holds onto this ring, and then we pick him up and fly, fly him from planet to planet, essentially. So he will fly on a 1 16th inch diameter cable. And then the cable's hooked to the, the cranes, and then the cranes are hooked to the flying machine and then that's how he goes up and down. So he really doesn't have to hold on to the ring. So he, he's, although he's holding on to the, to the ring, he's got uh, two wires hooked onto him. That hopefully, if we do it right, you won't be able to see very often. So the crux of the whole story starts when the pilot crashes his plane in the desert. And this is the plane. It's a, it's a, a kind of a stylized version of a, a monoplane. It weighs 1,500 pounds. It is so heavy you can't carry it off the set for act two. So we have a, a, a winch motor up in, the, uh, up in the ceiling and we hook onto the wing roots and we pick it up and we stand it on its, on its uh, tail and we fly it all the way up out of sight. The ceiling at the Performing Arts Center is 85 feet tall so we can get this up high enough to, to get it out of the sight lines. So as you're watching act two, just everybody remember, that's up above. And, up above the, uh, the scenery in Act 2, and it's just hanging out waiting to get used again. And the reason it's so heavy is that when this is bolted to the, to the sand dune, and the landing gear's all on it, and it's bolted to the sand dune, you can walk out on the wing. So you have to build things a little heavier uh, as scenery goes so you, can, so you can walk on it. Either that or it'll just crumple and fall off. In the show, there's a, there's a place where the little prince, and they're running out of water. And then there's the water character, and, and she comes and she sings out of a out of a hole in the portal or whatever. But this this uh, well magically, as an oasis, magically appears, so that they end up having having water to drink, because that's a big deal in the desert. 
here we see the little volcanoes. At some point they set up, the, the little prince sets up a camp and he has these little volcanoes and you can see there's his frying pan and his coffee cup and that's his, essentially his heat source for, for cooking his meals. So, and then we have, and these are little foam cranes. These are origami cranes. This one is a hand crane. So you do, just like on your PlayStation, you have to have your safety rope so you don't hurt the TV. So. So that's how that works. Not really for sure. I think there are like 30 kids and they run around in their, in their jammies because obviously this is a nighttime story. And they have, they have their lanterns, they have cranes, there's stars, there's all kinds of really kind of cool props and stuff in here in these boxes. But this, this machine here that's on top of that's made out of this plywood, 74 feet long, it, uh, you, you hang your, your drop, has little grommets on it every foot. So you hang your drop on these pins, and then somebody standing on the end of it pulls the, pulls the trip, and the thing trips, the drop will fall, and it kind of flutters in a really artistic sort of way, and it flutters and it'll go to the, go to the floor, and then the crew on the side of the stage will just kind of rip it off so you really, it just, dis, it just sort of disappears. So anyway, now underneath that is the flying machine. This is, uh, it's, it's going to be 65 feet long. We get it completely put together. It will, it will lift. We had uh, about 460 on it, and it's safe. We've tested all of the pulleys and all of the things to it. We've tested most of that stuff to at least 1,000 pounds. So I think this, the, the, kid, the little prince, the, the boy playing the little prince, I think weighs somewhere close to 100. So I think we're going to be okay uh, safety-wise. So what we can do is we can go back and forth, and then we can go up and down. We can go as high as 30 feet. We can go back and forth. Uh, we have a six, about a 60 foot travel. We own our own flying rig and, and have, we built it a little bit before the last time we did a little print. So it's nice to get it out of mothballs and put it back up for, for a, a, a good cause. Over here you're going to see a, this is a foam plane. This was put together for a photo shoot that we did uh, to, for publicity for the uh, brochures and, and uh, all of the marketing for the little prints. So we're going to set this up in the lobby and we're going to put a little, a little background behind it so it looks a little more deserty than the, the lobby of the Performing Arts Center. And we'll make a, a little ground row, it looks like a little tan ground row or whatever. So what we're planning on doing is, is having some, some kids, parents if you have to, the kids mostly, to, to take, uh, take some photos with it before the show and then we'll bring a couple of the character uh, people from the set, uh, from the show, I mean, to come down and then take, so some kids for 15, 20 minutes after the show can take some photos with uh, a couple of the characters in the show. So we think we're excited about that. That'll be kind of fun to, to do that. It'll be kind of interesting to see. From what I understand, they're asking that if you bring your kid to this show, that your kid can come in their jammies which I think is like the coolest. I'm going to have my onesie out. I guarantee you that. So anyway, that's about all we've got going on here. I think once we get loaded into the rehearsal hall and we've got a sand dune to show you, we'll get, we'll get some footage of that and then we'll go from there, guys. Thanks for coming out and seeing us. Bye.